Hello, Steve Walker here. This is the first of three videos to showcase the different methods that you have to add form fields to a document template for use in Adobe Acrobat Sign. The first method that we have is to drag and drop form fields onto a document using the web browser. So this is Acrobat Signs web portal. And that's fine if you want to keep the document safely and securely inside of your account. However, some people want to keep the documents offline as files. And the second and third method is using Adobe Acrobat Sign text tags on a text document and working with Adobe Acrobat PDFs inside of Acrobat Pro. So do seek out videos two and three on that. But for now, we're going to use the browser and drag and drop some form fields onto a document template. Let's get started. On the home screen of Acrobat Sign, we're gonna click Create a Reusable Template. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a Microsoft Word document. So let me jump over to this document that I've got here. Let's scroll down on our document. We've just got spaces where we'd like our signers to sign. But let's say, for example, this is capturing some data. Uh, maybe we need an account number and sort code. So let's make some spaces in here where we would like our user to enter in the account number and sort code. Let's say, for example, it's an onboarding document and uh, the payroll team need to capture some bank details. We'll uh, have this in our template. So I'm going to make sure this is saved. And I'm gonna jump back into Acrobat Sign now and I'm gonna add files. You can grab documents from a number of different cloud sources, including Adobe Document Cloud. But let's go from our laptop here on the desktop. I'm gonna grab that document we just finished. We're gonna call this the two person cover sheet. On the right hand side, let's choose the template type. So, do we want to have just the document retained? or do we want to have the form fields that we're going to drag retained? I want to have both of those reusable. So I'm gonna choose the both option. And finally, I want to roll this out to any user in my account. I am an account administrator, so I can roll this out to anyone, but maybe this is an HR only document and sales, for example, don't need to see this. So we can have any user in my group. Let's click preview and add fields now. And we are taken to Adobe Acrobat Sign's authoring screen. It detects form fields for you. So if you did have a particularly complicated form, it will actually guess and estimate where the form fields should go. I won't do that though. I'll show you just how easy it is. Grab from the right-hand side a signature box for signer number one. We'd like them to date their signature as well as enter in their first name and surname. You can have this template work for a hypothetical number of participants. So the default is two. We can continue to add more participants if you think that will be needed when someone uses this template. But uh, two is fine for this one. I'm gonna switch over to our blue participant who will need to enter in their date, sign the document and their full name as well. Switching back to signer number one, we want them to enter in some data. So we want them to enter in their account number and sort code. So if you look down further in the list, we've got data fields where we can do text boxes, drop down boxes, radio buttons, check boxes. Scrolling down this field further, we've got file attachments, hyperlinks out to other documents if that's needed. We can even take credit and debit card payments uh, if you needed to capture that at all. But what we'll do is we'll go to data fields and we're going to drag a couple of text boxes and make sure they fill the space that's needed using the resize handles in the bottom right hand corner. And with our account number, we're going to double click on it to bring up the properties. So it's a good idea to name all of your fields. If you run a report on this later, or if the data is being shipped off automatically to another system using the Acrobat Sign API, it's a good idea to name the form fields. We don't want that data coming back as custom field one. So I'm gonna call this one ac underscore number. Form field names cannot start with a number, nor can they have spaces. So I'm using underscores instead of spaces here. Who is this assigned to? Participant one, two, or we can have anyone being able to fill in data. This is a text box, but we've got a number of different out of the box fields like signer's name, uh, the company that they work for and their job title. 
We're gonna go for a straightforward text box. And will the value be entered or will it be a calculated value? Acrobat Sign has the ability to add together the values of two fields. We can add together dates, times, numbers. If you want to do a VAT calculation, for example, you can have the price plus VAT uh, combined together, and that's a, a calculated field. We won't do that here, we'll just go entered value. This is a mandatory field and it is not read only. So let's say for example, you you want to display a price for an invoice. We don't want to have that price modifiable. We would choose read only there, but we do want to enter in the text. You can mask the data if you're capturing passwords and you don't want it human readable. We can have multiple lines of text entered. Uh, pressing enter on the keyboard will let you drop down to multiple lines. That's not needed in this case. Default value is like placeholder text. So this is the text that will be entered in by default. The tooltips are a very good idea. So if we enter in, please enter the account number. That will pop up a speech bubble above the field when you hover over or when you tap on a mobile device, it will explain to the user what we're expecting to see in that field. And it will prevent mistakes if you uh, guide the user nicely through to filling your form. Now the validation piece is interesting. There's a number of different out of the box validations that you can do in Acrobat Sign. So it's stuff like detecting postcodes, email addresses. Uh, we can have dates entered in and times checked for. We can even have custom regular expressions. It's beyond the scope of this video, but let's say we wanted to do complex pattern matching. Maybe we wanted to have the sort code with the dashes and we know the pattern of the data we're expecting is digit, digit, dash, digit, digit, dash, digit, digit. We can detect for that and make sure that that pattern is adhered to. As I say, beyond the scope of this video, but you can paste in a regular expression and an Acrobat sign will respect that. What we'll do though, is we want an account number in the United Kingdom with eight digits in. So I'm gonna choose string. I'm gonna make sure this is set to digits in the character set and the length that we require is eight. We can have this field showing and hiding based on the conditions of something that happened earlier on in the form. So maybe there's a multiple choice question and if you choose yes or no, certain sections of a form can show and hide and that can be accomplished using the conditions section. Under appearance, we can change the font color and font style as well. And then if you want to very quickly copy or clone a field, you can do so using the tools section here, but this all looks good. I'm gonna press okay. I'm gonna do the same thing with the sort code now. And we don't require any dashes. So setting this to a string, expecting digits with a maximum length of six will be okay. But what we'll do in the tooltip is we'll say, please enter the sort code without dashes, just so that people understand what we're expecting inside of this form field. Everything looks good. Let's press the blue save button now and our template is saved and deployed and our users will start to see that appearing in their Acrobat Sign accounts now. If we navigate over to the Manage tab, and if we have a look on the left-hand side here, we can have a look at all the templates that there are inside of my account. And sure enough, at the top of the list here is our two-person cover sheet. We can open it, we can edit it, and we can use the template as well, which will take us over to the Send screen with this template pre-attached, ready to go. You just saw a demonstration of how we can create templates inside the browser using the easy drag and drop screen that there is inside of Acrobat Sign. And if you need a little bit more flexibility and you wanna work with files offline, seek out videos two and three in this series where we tackle Acrobat Sign text tags, which are little snippets of text you can drop into a Microsoft Word document, or if you want to work with Acrobat PDF forms. But for now, if you don't have access to Acrobat Sign, please seek out a free trial and get started. It's very, very easy to get documents sent for signature. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.